So, here we are. Here we are. This is Kashan. Hi. And I'm Judith. I. Go ahead. You're the boss. No, 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 no. <laughs> no that stage is long past. You, you yeah. have totally surpassed me in many, many different ways. And I think we're about to learn how. Okay. Well, I just want to start off since I am the MC up here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just want to start off. Um, Judith has been such an important mentor to me, and I just wanted to know um, who here feels like they have a striking, important mentor that has been through with them through everything throughout time and existence and continues to be by their side no matter what. I love that. Well, I guess this is the right room. <laughs> and who, is, who has not had that luxury yet and the privilege of a partnership? Um, well, hopefully that changes for you. And I will, um, I'll talk to you about my, my journey with Judith. But um, I just wanted to start out by saying that I met Judith when I was an editorial assistant um, at Atria Books, where she was the publisher. And everything about her has helped me to, one, sustain my career, and also to just, like, know what I want to look like. <laughs> And act like on my toughest days now, I still think of Judith in my head. I talk in my Australian accent. And I'm like, how would Judith say this? Uh, so um, Judith has been um, really a foundation for me. I started as editorial assistant there. And I've grown and I started this published, uh, imprint of my own at Hachette Book Group, uh, one of the top five publishers in the world. Titled, I mean, the company is Legacy Lip. And when I was founding the imprint, I thought of what, I, what my foundation was at Atria that Judith had established, which was really a dedication to multicultural and diverse voices. Um, and that is what has been sort of the, the brainchild from Legacy Lit is very much inspired by Judith Kerr. Um, and so I wanted to ask Judith a very uncomfortable question. Um, and I have ne I talk a lot about Judith behind her back to my friends and other colleagues. Just you know, I just always glow about Judith as an inspiration. But Judith, I wanted to know, like overall, like how do you feel about me? Uh, how have you seen me grow back in the days when I was sort of this editorial assistant with these long dreadlocks and? I was very Erica Badu. Uh, I used to talk to Judith, like you know, about my style and whether I was showing up right and all of those things. To the publisher person who now talks to you about, well, how do you get them to? How do you do all these big books and how can I like be as successful? So, what have you? What kind of growth have you seen? Well, you were witnessing it for yeah. obviously reasons in so many different ways, and as I said, you totally surpassed. So we appreciate that, and that's the point of evolution and mentoring. But I think that the ultimate uh, moment when I knew it's like, you know, hats off to Kushan was when she turned up in the office, it was an appointment, with her agent, and to, to pitch us three books, a, a series of books which were amazing, which we unfortunately were only the underbidders, but it was like that moment when we had that meeting and we wanted to buy those books and we were desperate to get them, but somebody else outbid us. I knew that you had fledged completely. <laughs> and that, so now you've ticked all the boxes and all the experiences in publishing, which makes you the ultimate publisher because you've been the author, you've been the, the assistant, you've, you've been the marketer, you've been the publicist, you've, and you're very humble, and you've been the innovator. And now you've just had this amazing New York Times bestseller which came out of an idea and out of a, something that you saw, and you went for it. So there's no stopping you. Thank you. Yeah. But that's how I was. Yeah, I mean, Judith is referring to the, the wild moment in my life where I had to go into a meeting with her on the opposite side of the table as an author shopping my book. So after being raised in, at Atria, and that was really like, oh my god, I was sweating so hard. Um, but yeah, you have been, Judith has been so impactful in terms of everything I have uh, become as a publisher and sort of the vision for Legacy Lit, because she has lifted up so many women of color in book publishing, and I just want to give her her, her flowers for that. 
truly have seen Judith, you know, I, through my whole career, continue to do that time and time again. So I just, I've never had a chance to say that publicly to people, so I wanted this to be the first time. Um, okay, what's next? No more uncomfortable questions. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, you want to tell us about the girls right now? Yes, I do. So actually, what I do best, one of the things I do best is present books. <laughs> um, because they're ultimately the, the culmination of much work, and I'm very proud and happy to show you the finished copy of Girls Right Now on the Art of the Craft, a guide to collaborative storytelling. Now, why this book is so important, and I'm going to put this long note away because I'm just going to improvise. Um, it's beautifully done, nice coloured end papers, they're extra, and it's a hard cover. But inside this book is a collection of work over the last 25 years, which has been put together by the girls right now and the committee that was put together to be the editorial committee. So usually publishers um, have are the ones who control this exercise. We decided from the very beginning, along with Molly and all the wonderful people who helped, that we were the facilitators, and my staff who volunteered their time would also be the facilitators, but the girls themselves would decide on the content. And um, HarperCollins, which I'm very proud to be uh, one of the executives on the board there, and I nod to my colleagues who have made it possible for HarperCollins to continue to support the girls right now. And um, so one of the things that we've done is that we've, we've donated the, the production of the book and 3,000 copies to girls right now. But we've also, this is, a, this is an interesting thing because how can, when people say, how can I help by I'm, I'm one person? Or you can buy a copy of the book because all the, all the royalties of this in perpetuity go to the Girls Right Now organization long after all of us uh, uh, have, have moved on into other things. So it's really important, the power of the book. It's got full of prompts, it's very cutting edge. Everybody has to be prompted about everything now when we have our AI. And it's very important that all of this, all of the contents and all of the voices and all of the experiences are passed on and that, that continue to influence. So if people don't have a mentor or someone to mentee, then, then they've got this book and that will do that work for them. And I'm really happy to see a bookseller here who's committed already, and I'm sure you take online orders as well. <laughs> so thank you very much, and you, I think you all get a copy as they yes. leave. Oh, oh, that's a surprise. And the beautiful artwork, as you can see, influences the whole theme, so nothing is left un un unsaid. Now, my last task is to introduce. That's, that's, I just want to say, can't you see why she's such a good mentor, the way she's able to sell this book? <laughs> and um, so now I'm going to introduce, excuse me, I'm clumsy though. <laughs> so I'm now going to introduce Kaya Fraser and Jolly Amor Devise Morris to come up here.